the Roland Supernatural piano sound is about as close as it can be to hearing a natural piano. It has a lot to do with being able to accommodate all of those little nuances that a, an acoustic piano would have and replicate it to a degree that I've never heard any other piano sound before. There's always an element of beauty to it. I feel like it's real, I feel like it's present, and I feel like it's responsive. It sounds so great and it's so customizable and so responsive to touch like an acoustic piano is and I find that it's, it's my go-to. The tonality of it is the same as if you were playing a real grand piano. The ivory feel has a major impact in my playing because it not just gives me the feeling of playing an acoustic piano, but also the ability to mechanically express my musical ideas in a natural way. It reminds me of the piano I have at home, which is a 1959 Steinway D. It just has a smooth, kind of natural feel to it. The touch is incredible. It's very acoustic piano-like and is very easy to play and maneuver. It inspires you and it makes you feel like you're really playing the real piano rather than just a synthesizer. There's a big difference there in the way you perform when you feel the piano. We never use a real acoustic piano in the show because it's, it's impossible to mic, it goes out of tune, you never know what you're going to get. Digital pianos, that's part of today's 21st century thinking. And everyone growing up today is used to digital everything. So you have to be able to embrace that kind of technology. When I was living in Brighton, I was living in this sort of bedstead at the top of this building. And I couldn't always make loads of noise. So you know, having that volume and having the headphone was, was really useful in that. This cushion at the end of the key made less noise of the keyboard. I also have a Roland piano at home and using it when I'm playing at night time. So I'm very happy with this less noise and maybe my neighbors too. I don't have to do anything to it. It just feels right and it's money in the bank for me. People have tried to make me use other things, but I've become quite attached to it, you know. I can't really ever see myself ever using nothing else. In terms of playability and in terms of versatility, I haven't found anything like this before. The primary selling point for me was the feel. And it felt like, yeah, this instrument is mine. I like the feel of it, I like the sound of it, it sounded real, I like the fact that it's very responsive. The reason I play the bowling piano on stage is because it's the most expressive, it's the easiest to play, it's reliable, it's, it sounds the best. Mm -hmm.